Hi everybody and welcome to another video. Right, today's video features a series of very special figures. The Ralph Macquarie Signature Series from 2007. What's so special about this figure, these figures? Well, first of all, they pay tribute to concept artist Ralph Macquarie one of the gentlemen responsible for devising and creating not only some of the most beloved and iconic characters in the Star Wars franchise, but also ships and places, planets too. So without wasting any more time, let me introduce to you what originally was the Snow Trooper. Yes, here we have him right here. Well, as far as the packaging goes, these were the packagings that were uh, common in 2007, except for the fact that the lettering is in light blue and uh, they blink the eye to the old Kenner figures with a collectible coin, exclusive collect collector coin, and they play pay homage to Ralph McQuarrie with his own signature, the signature series. Here we have him. So uh, on the other, on the back side of the figure, we have a small text that introduces to us the character and the artist profile. I shall only read the artist profile on the first one because they're all the same, but I will try to talk to you a little bit about each one of the characters. So as far as the Stormtrooper goes, the Stormtrooper's uniform was modified to different environments, yet retains the featureless uniformity captured by Macquarie in his art. Snow Troopers are, have additional head, chest and leg coverings to insulate them against the cold and help them to blend into snowy surroundings. Yes, a picture of the gentleman himself, a smaller picture of you know who we're going to talk about him in a while and as for the artist's profile the vivid imagination of conceptual artist Ralph McQuarrie brought to life the characters and worlds envisioned by George Lucas McQuarrie's paintings and drawings were instrumental in the push to bring Lucas's saga to the big screen giving shape and form to a multitude of fantastic individuals Creatures, planets, and technology encompassed in this epic tale developed in collaboration with Macquarie himself. This remarkable action figure series pays tribute to the man whose art defines some of the most memorable characters in film history. Yeah, here we go. The Snow Trooper concept Snow Trooper, not that different from the version we saw on screen. Right you go. The next one is going to be everybody's favorite bounty hunter, Boba Fett. So the first thing that you're probably going to notice is that he sports an all white suit. Yes, his armor is all white. He's got an alternate helmet and the blast, of, the, the fire effect, sorry, uh, very cool looking blast effect and fire effect if I may say so. Right, once again we've got the original artwork from Ralph McQuarrie himself, the logo that Boba Fett sports on his shoulder. And as for the character, Boba Fett was one of the first new characters to be designed for The Empire Strikes Back. The costume began as a Mandalorian Super Commando suit and went through various designs as well as being aged, dented and painted to give it a battle-scarred appearance. Its final look hides a plethora of built-in weapons and the identity of the ruthless bounty hunter it encases. Yes, of course. Yeah, okay, Boba Fett. The concept Boba Fett. Okay, another character, this time the one and only Vader. Yes, not that different from the classic design used on screen. The main difference, obviously, you've already guessed it by now, blue lightsaber instead of traditional red. Yeah, that's the way he was envisioned the first time around on this concept art. You will also notice that his face mask looks a little bit different. Okay, 
He's got another, an alternate face mask that resembles much more the one we know and love. Let's see what they have to say about the man himself. Yes, Darth Vader was not originally supposed to wear a face mask. Now, here's a surprise for some of us. Ralph McQuarrie's concept drawing of Vader boarding the Tantive IV was based on the idea that Vader would fly through space to reach the ship, requiring him to wear a breathing apparatus. The face mask remained and has become a modern-day icon of chilling doom. Yes, it does indeed. Right, so what you will notice is that the plastic bubbles has yellowed considerably. Yes, sometimes this happens. And on this series of figures, the 2007 figures, it happened a lot. Which is a bit of a bummer for those of us who collect these figures in box. Or in card, I should say. Right. So, <laughs> forgive me. Probably one of the figures which has changed the most. Were it not to say here to Baca, we wouldn't have guessed it that this is the original concept for the Wookiee we all love from Star Wars. Younger audiences might have even mistaken him for one of the characters in Star Wars Rebels, Zavarelius. Yes, this is by no means coincidence. The thing is that this design was so strong and as a sort of homage, when they made that series, they thought they could use it. And I'm pl pretty glad they did. Once again, you've got the collector coin, the Republic logo signaling that this is one of the good guys. Let's see what we can find about about We'll find out about Chewie. Right, inspired by his Alaskan Malamute, George Lucas created one of the most enduring and well-loved non-human characters of his saga. Constructed from knitted mohair and yak fur, Chewbacca was given life by the actor Peter Mayhew and voice by a wide array of animals from walruses to black bears. Yeah, okay. Phenomenal. Unfortunately, Peter Mayhew is no longer with us. Yeah, okay. Here we go. There goes Chewie. Right. Yep. Okay, so we've got Han Solo. And some of you may find it strange that Han Solo is sporting a lightsaber himself. A blue lightsaber himself. That's because originally he was intended to be, yes, you've guessed it, a Jedi. Yeah, take a look at the coloring scheme of his clothes. I guess purple was quite in fashion back in the 70s. Right, let's see what we can find out about Han Solo. Macquarie's concept painting of central characters in A New Hope depicts Han Solo as a fierce Jedi Knight rather than a roguish smuggler. Wearing close-fitting battle gear, he is ready for combat with his lightsaber blazing and his face set f with stern determination. Yes, we've got a bearded Han Solo here. You've got, and blonde too, for that matter. Quite different from what we got on screen. Okay. This one's another surprise. <laughs> Star Killer Hero. Star Killer Hero. Concept Star Killer Hero. Yes, this was at a time when Luke's character hadn't been created yet. So Lucas was still struggling to put a male hero or a heroine. Okay, on his space saga. Right. Okay, a concept painting done by Ralph McQuarrie depicts an early version of Luke Skywalker character as a young woman. The initial character envisioned for the epic was explored in various ways, including whether Starkiller would be male or female. This image in this painting captures the heroic idealism of the character that was to ultimately become Luke Skywalker. 
Once again, notice the resemblances, resemblance between the clothes that Starkiller Hero is sporting and Solo is sporting too. The purples and the browns also. Once again, the blue lightsaber. You got the backpack with this breeding apparatus and of course a ray gun or a blaster, if you will. Okay. Right, as far as Stormtroopers go, yes, this version is also somewhat different from the ones we saw on screen. So, first I have to comment on the packaging, which isn't in the best of conditions, but the lettering, the Star Wars lettering, instead of the traditional white that you see on the other ones, this one is gold. It's also got the Ultimate Galactic Hunt 2007 sticker, which I don't know exactly, I don't remember exactly what it means, but I'm pretty sure it got this figure uh, to be harder to get. Yes, obviously the first difference that you will notice is that Stormtroopers were wielding lightsabers too on Macquarie's concept artwork. Yeah, okay, they were wielding some sort of shield too, okay, only much later, not in the original trilogy, that we explore this idea on screen. The fact that there could be shields that could withstand um, lightsabers. Okay, right, he's also got a blaster too. Okay, this Stormtrooper is based on conceptual art from A New Hope, depicting the Empire's shock troopers in a corridor of the Death Star as they hunt down the escaping Luke, Han, Chewbacca, and Princess Leia. Um, while armed with blaster pistols or blaster rifles in the movie, this Imperial soldier is unusual because he holds a lightsaber, the weapon of the Jedi. Yes, he does. Okay, right. Okay, so on next come two two-packs. The first one being obviously the droids. Yes, the yes, probably what you're going to notice is it's got an outer shell, plastic outer shell that protects them. Uh, probably one of the only figures that I've got with a plastic protector shell case. This is a Celebration, Star Wars Celebration Europe exclusive, and it features, yes, these are most definitely the droids that we have been looking for. On the left, we've got a gray version of R2 with arms coming out of its dome, and on the right, C-3PO, or should I say, a clear homage to the 1927 science fiction film Metropolis by Fritz Lang. Beautiful. These, I really love this two-pack. It's absolutely beautiful. So, it's got uh, another card that talks about the first uh, Star Wars celebration in Europe, so I can't really tell you what these, um, what is in store uh, as far as, the, as these two characters go because I have never opened this package. It's still originally sealed. As far as Celebration Europe, we can I could tell you this. So welcome to the first Star Wars Celebration Europe, a gathering that marks the 30th anniversary of the epic space fantasy cherished by millions of fans all over the world and in the country where so much of the saga was shot. Star Wars, filled with adventure, imagination, fun, and sheer wonder, will continue to captivate future generations with its timeless story of the forces of good triumphing over the powers of the dark side. It is fitting that we commemorate this occasion with the figures in your hands. The amazing Ralph McQuarrie original concepts of the droids R2-D2 and C-3PO who are along for the entire incredible journey. May the force be with you always. Yeah, this is pretty much it. Right, so the only two-pack that I have of these figures which is outside of its original um, box. So these were, I, I've ordered these quite a long time ago on Amazon 
and at quite an inexpensive price range, only to discover to my dismay that they were loose. They were new, but they were loose outside of their clamshell, of their boxes. Okay, yeah, okay, so yes, you've guessed it by now. Even though it is somewhat different from the version we saw on screen, we've got Yoda. Fully articulated with soft goods cloth cape here on the underneath and sporting his cane. Okay, I would say that the version that got to the screen is much cuter than this one. This one looks more alien, doesn't he? Yes, I'm afraid he does. Okay, let's put him inside the shot. And this gentleman right here, <laughs> yeah, you could have fooled me, but this was Ralph McQuarrie's original version of Ben Kenobi. Yes, yeah, so he's sporting a lightsaber, blue lightsaber, so you would definitely call him a Jedi. He's got a lightsaber hilt attached to his belt, but as far as calling him Ben, that goes a long way, right? So is unusual attire. You will notice that time as unfortunately taken is told with his white garb. Yes, it has started to become yellow, I'm afraid. That's why I like to keep these inside their blisters. And obviously the lack of hair. White, what is curious is that Sir Alec Guinness, at the time that he shot the role of Ben Obi-Wan Kenobi, was already bold himself, but they thought it might not have captured the imaginary, the imagination of everyone at the time as much as if he had hair, so he was fitted with a hairpiece. Right, you guys, this is my collection of Ralph McQuarrie Signature Series action figures. I hope you've all enjoyed this video. I know I most certainly did. Hope to see you guys soon on the next one. Bye-bye, take care, stay safe, stay strong.